Awaken Creators. Thank you so much for being here with me today, gathering on this day. I'm sending everyone so much love. And I hope that you can hear me all right. <laughs> I do have some music playing in the background, um, so hopefully you can hear me over that. Hi Gabrielle, hi Itty Bitty, hi Jenna, Dream State, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the Cosmic Barn. I'm gonna be doing some powerful energetic work in here today with you all. Hi Ron. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, family, soul family. It's so important that we come together as family and do this work together. to really anchor in and manifest the future and the life and the love that we want to experience. Hi, Intentional Homestead, Francis, Turtle. Hey, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Like I said, if at least one of you could let me know you can hear me well enough over the music. That would be great. I could turn it down if I need to. Hi, Wings. Hmm. So, <clears throat> just a little bit of, um, thank you for the confirmation, Ron. Um, just a little bit of a primer to this event. Um, the last time I went live last week, I had talked about wanting to get back to the channel Q&A sessions and even received questions from folks wanting um, to get some channeled answers. And that was my plan up until really just a few days ago. And I felt like spirit tapped me on the shoulder and said, there's more work to be done. And there's powerful work to be done as a group, as a soul family, as a, as a collective of sacred hearts. That this isn't just a space where we come together and we talk about the moon or we talk about our creative journeys or we talk about the struggles that we have but that this is a powerful opportunity to combine our strength as energetic beings as beings of love as beings that live from the heart to combine those hearts and to actively shift the energy on this planet through the work that we're doing, not separate from those things, but as a part of it. So that's why I wanted to ask some of you to show up and share and share a creation or share a um, share a heart work that you feel captures the energy that we want to hold on this planet and I know that you're with me and that being love and peace abundance for all but primarily we're focused on peace today, right? And what is peace? <sighs> Have you ever really asked yourself that question? What is peace? When do you feel peace? Peace is safety. 
peace is savoring life. Peace is life. Yet there's so much death and destruction and pain all around us. And we, as a collective, we get to choose. We get to choose to be fear and pain or we get to choose to be peace and love and anchor in that energy right where we are. So I mentioned in one of the posts I did about this event that I truly do believe that each one of us is like a little anchor point on the planet. So wherever you are physically on the planet right now, if you can imagine that you're like this little anchor of light on the planet, right where you are, and around the globe, those little lights, like little towers, we connect to one another. And in doing so, we create this web of protection around Mother Gaia and command through our energy, our energetic signature, whatever we're holding, which today we'll be holding peace. So through that anchoring of that energy, holding that energy, committing to that energy, that feeling of peace, we command it to be so. That's how powerful you are. And when we work together, that all gets amplified. That's beautiful, intentional homestead. Yes, like crystals on a grid. And each one of us is that. So, I know how heavy a lot of this energy can be and and it may not even just be out in the world you may also be experiencing some of that heaviness in your personal life and i just want you to know that in this space today you're held you're safe you're protected you're guided into alignment with the all, with each other, with your heart, to be that anchor of peace. And so as we move through today's meditation, and I'm going to just channel this meditation, so I have no idea what we're gonna do or visuals or anything. But we're gonna move through this experience together and allow ourselves to be those anchors and then invite some of your creative family on camera to share their heart works and calls for peace. So I really hope that you will stick around for the entirety of this event today and open yourself up to receive the, the love and the, and the expansive power of this community. And you are a part of that. You very specifically tuning in are a powerful part of that. You've been chosen, your soul has chosen to be here, to be now, to be that light, that anchor right here, right now on this planet at this exact time. And that's really powerful knowledge to hold and be aware of. 
that this isn't by happenstance that you are alive right now with all that's going on on the planet. Your soul wanted to be here in this moment. And I know it's really hard to accept that sometimes when we deal with struggle and we can't see the higher purpose of it all. But just tune in whenever you get a chance. Tune into your soul's essence, your soul's truth, and know there's nowhere else to be but here. There's nowhere else to be but now. And this is exactly where I meant to be. And artists and creators specifically, specifically, I do not care what you create. It doesn't matter what medium you prefer, what you love, it doesn't matter. What matters is that the vibration of everything that you manifest with your creative spirit is holding that love, that peace, that call for authentic living. That's what you're doing, that you are a role model of how to live authentically from the heart. And people are watching. They may not act like they are. They may not seem like they are. And they may even disagree with how you're living your life. But know this, that if you are a part of this community, you identify as an awakened creator, you are meant to be living from your heart. You are a role model. You are changing this planet just by living your truth, just by living your life, just by creating every day, by taking care of yourself, by anchoring in love, by making sure that as best you can, you create from love, you speak from love, you think with love, you act with love, you make decisions with love that you have faith in love, that you open to receive love, that you give love, that you manifest love, that you become love. And all of those things that you are doing every day, day in and day out, all this inner work that you've been doing, that you've been growing, that you've been transforming, and you've been burning yourself uh, metaphorically in this, in this alchemical fire so that you can emerge at this time right now to hold the light for this planet and to cast your energetic vote for the future that you desire for yourself, for your children, for your children's children's seven to 10 generations out, right? This isn't just about you and your family. This is about beyond that, the future of humanity. We get to decide the future of humanity, not the ones that say they're in power. We as the individuals are the power. We hold the power. And today we are casting a vote for peace. Today we are casting a vote for heart alignment. Today we are casting a vote for love. And we are saying and declaring as individuals no more. We will not engage in this. We will not allow it to be so. We will not let another day go by that we give in to the fear and give in to the illusion that we have no choice, that this is just how humans are, that we hate each other, that we fight each other, that we can't get along, that we can't find common ground. We've been fed so many lies about who we are as beings. And they're all lies. At your true core, you are connected to all things and you know that. Peace is your natural state of being and you know that. Love is what you're here to do and you know that. So by living your life authentically, you are already radically, radically, revolutionizing the way that humanity lives and exists on this planet. You are doing it and you should be proud of yourself. 
and continue and allow your life to be an example for others. You don't have to change anybody and you don't have to force anyone to grow and it's not your role to prove you're right, they're wrong. We're not gonna play those games anymore that we're told to play, to pit us against one another. We are gonna say, no, you do what you need to do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do hard work. I'm gonna live from this space every day of my life and I'm gonna do the best I can without judging ourselves, without adding to the pain, without expecting perfection, but instead embodying unconditional love for ourselves, we are going to live from this space as much as we can, as often as we can, and anchor in the truth that we are the masters of our fate, that we get to decide and command the fate of humanity, and we are actively doing it today. So thank you for being here. This is a big deal. You are proving the, the, the powers that used to be wrong <laughs> because we are in charge now. The hardests are in charge and we are going to live from our hearts from this day forward. Okay. <sighs> I love being here with you. And I just want to send you all a big hug whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling right now, and let you know that you're loved and I love you and I believe in what you're trying to do. And no matter how challenging or difficult it gets, we are here for one another. And if you haven't yet reached out to one another, made friends through this community, please do send DMs, comment on each other's posts, that's what this is for. Find your support. Find your family here. Okay. I'm going to take a little water. I suggest you do the same because we're about to vibe up. So if you don't have water, um, that's probably something that you want to have handy. I'm not sure what happened to my music. sure we're all set up while you get your water and you get yourself comfy because we're going to meditate so um, you're going to hopefully be sitting somewhere comfortable. I'm sitting on a little pillow because this wood floor is not the most comfy thing. <laughs> okay. anything else that you have in your personal space that you feel like will amplify your own vibration get it have it crystal grids you know me I got my selenite one I've done some palo santo I've got this yummy meditation oil that just centers me so whatever you have <clears throat> in your space that you want to help you anchor further into the vibration that you seek, which is peace today. Get that. <clears throat> and make sure you're nice and comfy. to ask you to 
Get even more comfortable. Adjust your seats. Just relax. Make sure you're sitting up straight, but not stiff, right? Just so that everything running down your spine from the top of your head down to your tailbone really feels in alignment. That's what we are seeking. We're seeking that straight, straight line as much as we can from our tailbone to the top of our head and just really allow space for that energy to flow. And however it feels good to place your hands, mine are on my knees. You might want to sit yours in your lap or hold your favorite crystal. Maintaining that alignment and a sense of relaxation. Gonna gently close our eyes. And just start noticing our breath. I'm not trying to control it in any way. Just aware you're breathing in and aware that you're breathing out. You might even say those words to yourself. I am aware I'm breathing in. I am aware I'm breathing out. Watching, observing. awareness is your power. And at this time, I'm going to call upon Archangel Michael to cast a circle of protection around each and every one of us engaged in this peace meditation today. Put your sword of light surround each one of us in a bright white light with a gentle blue flame, reminding ourselves in this present moment that we are safe, that we are protected, that we are guided, that we are united in the light, that we are here for purpose. And in this present moment, we are embodying that purpose. And in addition to the angelic protection, I call upon our galactic brothers and sisters. In force today, our Arcturian brothers and sisters to assist us in calibrating our energetic vibration, maintaining even levels in our physical bodies and vessels, ensuring integration, Palladium brothers and sisters holding that vibration of peace in advance for us and asking that we attune and align to them for assistance. And our Lyran brothers and sisters holding that vibration of fierce, fierce love and alignment. Giving us the courage and the strength to follow our truth, to command it to be so, to use the power of creation that we possess to create a life and a planet that is in alignment with love. And the 
thank you to all of those unnamed energies of the highest love and light vibrations that surround each and every one of us, be they our ancestors, our guides, our personal guides, feeling into the energetic space around you, 360 degrees around you, feeling the love that you are surrounded with, the protection that you are surrounded with, the confidence of your brothers and sisters beyond the veil, holding that space for you, holding that faith for you, and that you are doing the work, you are making this happen. You are creating the life that you desire, not just for yourself, but for all of humanity in this moment. And feel that love, feel that confidence, feel that pride that all of the beings that support you on your individual journey, feel that pride they have for you. So very, very proud. They love you so, so much. And as we begin to anchor into this space, I'm gonna ask that you take a breath down from about six inches above your head, almost like you're pulling invisible light, invisible air from the heavens down into your crown chakra and allow this this light to be the color white with gold embedded within it so we're going to breathe in from a space about six inches above our crown Breathing in this golden white light down into the top of our crown chakra. Give it a deep inhale, pull it down. And keep bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down through your skull, down through your neck, down through your throat, down to your heart, down through your chest down through your stomach, down through your womb space, down through your root, all the way down and into the ground below you. And as it reaches into the ground below you, like a system of roots, it starts to spread out in every direction. So this light this light is going to enter into the ground below you and start to branch out below you. Branching out in every which way. Let it really stretch across the earth, stretch down into and through the planet. And I want you to imagine that these roots of light are not only reaching across the earth, but they're reaching out to each other. So you and all the other people, present and future on this meditation, are reaching your roots out to one another. And the tips of your roots are going to touch the tips of their roots, and you're going to wrap them around each other. Like a loving handshake, you're gonna wrap your roots around their roots of light and you're going to hold them there feel the strength connect each of your roots every single one that you've imagined reach it out feel for one another energetically feel for one another and connect each of your roots tie them to one another anchor it in feel each one shooting off in every direction reaching, connecting, holding, strong. Feel that strength when your roots touch and intertwine. Feel it, tug tight, connecting you. 
connecting each of us. And as all of your roots are connected to the roots of each other, let us just hold and feel into this energetically for a moment and just breathe. Breathing gently, feeling that anchor, feeling that anchor to each other, and also feeling the net that we have now created around the planet, and feeling that Mother Earth is in the middle her energetic heart is being held in the middle of the space we've created by connecting our roots to one another. And just feel her heartbeat in that space. like a precious, precious diamond. We are holding her, protecting her, promising to her that we are here, we are listening, we are saying yes to peace, Yes to connection, yes to love, yes to light. And as you feel the diamond heart of Gaia pulsing inside this net that we've created, I want you for a moment to allow your heart to open to receive the gratitude she has for you. You are her protector. You are her child. And she loves you so much. And she thanks you for being here and doing this work today. And that is why all your needs will always be met. And Mother Earth will always provide. In abundance. As we continue from this anchored state, holding this energetic web, and I ask you to return your awareness to your heart space. Breathe into your heart space. Feel into and begin to see the light of your heart chakra in your chest, like a glowing, beautiful, light green light. You are the green light. You are the light that says yes, your heart casting its vote for peace and love on this planet. I want you to imagine and visualize the heart light you have beaming 
out ahead of you. So this light is shooting forward from your chest, beaming out ahead of you. Far, 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 it shoots at the speed of light, it shoots ahead of you and connects with the heart light of everyone else on this call. And together, they unite and shoot a beam of light straight up from this planet all the way out into our solar system, the galaxy, all of the universe, this beam of light. Hold your light, hold your heart light shooting out from your chest, connecting at a central point at the tip of the planet with all the other lights of everyone else on this call, beaming up straight up after they all connect it goes straight up into space sending a signal to the far reaches of our universe letting them know we are here and we vote for love and peace And on this beam of light, I want you to send your intentions. Send your intentions. They can be personal intentions. They can be intentions for the planet. Whomever or whatever you'd like to hold in your heart and shoot out your intention into this collective beam out to the far reaches of the universe. Send it now. Send your message. Allow your voice to be heard. Call for peace. Call for unity. Call for love. Allow yourself to focus not on what you don't want more of, but what you do want. children playing free without any worry carefree humanity uniting ready for peace ready to share ready to come together love and comfort to wrap around those who need it the most. Send your intentions on your heart beam out into the far reaches of the universe. Know that they will be heard they are vibrating, they are being sent out, that there is nothing else need be done, that your truth, your vote has been counted. Maintaining your beam from your heart, maintaining your anchors, rooted, tied to each other. Moving your awareness now back to your third eye. In the center of your skull, in this space, formulate a vision for humanity that you desire. And make it one that is based in love and peace. What do you see? Allow for all possibilities. I want you to not censor yourself. Anything, 
and everything you see is possible. And maybe you see other nations from other planets coming together with humanity. Maybe you see a world where we all travel freely. And maybe you see everyone has a home and food on their table. Maybe you see a lot of people being released from prison and freed and exonerated and allowed to receive the care that they need. Maybe you see a coral reef being restored to full color. Maybe you see an advancement of technology, a food supply that is sustainable, a renaissance of creativity and love, acceptance for all people. Visualize in your mind, see it in full color. Jump from scene to scene to scene. Allow your imagination to light up with a truth of what peace looks like to you. I know so many of you have so many dreams and so many visions and I want you to know that each and every one of them is possible. Hold nothing back. See it all. Visualize it all. Hold it in your third eye. Hold those visions like a rotating movie screen at 360 degrees around you. Project your vision out onto that screen that's rotating around you. All your visions. Give each one a little space on this circular projection screen that's, that's spinning around your head. Cast each one onto this screen, scene by scene, all the things of people being helped, people finding homes, people finding comfort in one another, people being able to feed themselves and their families, people freeing themselves from addiction and finding hope again, people feeling safe on this planet, safe in their neighborhoods, safe in their cultures, all different kinds. Let them all be safe. Let them all have what they need. Project on this screen what you wish to see. Focus on what you want, not on what you're trying to avoid. Let your vote be heard. And after you have filled up this movie screen that is circling your head. And it's shaped like a disc. I want you to start to raise up that movie screen with all your visions. Raise it up, up above your head. Allow it to rise. So now they look like little UFOs all over the planet, but they're your little projection screen, your round projection screen of all your dreams. And you're gonna hold it up there like a satellite. Hold it up above the earth, above the earth's atmosphere like. Let it continue to rotate up there like a satellite.
see if you can see other people's projection discs rotating. Visualize them all around the planet, floating in the atmosphere, spinning there, holding and anchoring the visions for the future. So many beautiful, beautiful visions filled with love and peace. And can you see now how powerful you are? Anchored in and united with your Awakened Creators family. Your roots netting and protecting Mother Gaia's diamond heart. Your heart and the intentions you have for this planet, like a beam of light, connecting with all the hearts of all of your Awakened Creators family and shooting out up into the universe like a beacon and all your visions and projections of the love and peace you seek for this planet rotating like satellites in the atmosphere above the earth And I want you to know that every vision you cast today, every energetic step you've taken is important and it matters. And you did that. You are a warrior of peace. You are a warrior of love. And there is no greater fight to fight than for the heart of humanity. And today, all of us here on earth and beyond have made it crystal clear. Love is what we seek because love is what we are. And I ask you now to bring your hands to your heart. to once again begin to notice your breath, notice your body, bring some awareness to your extremities, your toes, your knees, your elbows, your fingertips, your ears, top of your head, your chin. This form that you've taken on this planet at this time, it's so beautiful. It's so perfect. And it's so ready to accomplish everything that your soul intended to do in this lifetime. I want to ask you to give some gratitude to your vessel for carrying you all this time. And send a thank you to your organs, send a thank you to your bones, send a thank you to your blood, send a thank you to your eyes, send a thank you to your nails and your hair and your every part of yourself, all your cells, send a thank you. The bacteria in your gut send a thank you. 
everything within you working so hard to make sure you can carry out your mission on this planet. And as your body fills with gratitude, send that gratitude into your heart space. Send that gratitude out to one another. Send that gratitude down into the earth. Send that gratitude to your past for bringing you to this moment. And send that gratitude out into the universe for gifting you the opportunity to be here, to do this, and for the awareness that allows you this moment. begin to come back into your body gently swaying side to side like a mother with a child wiggling your little toes and your little fingers remembering what it's like to feel your body Appreciating your body moving. And when you're ready, begin to blink your eyes gently open and see the world in a brand new light. See yourself in a brand new light. Thank you so much for joining me in the meditation. Know that all the intentions and visualizations and projections of peace and love and that all of them are still there. and our anchors and our roots are all still there and our hearts are still beaming out. And yet here we are in physical form, <laughs> living our lives. But I am so grateful and thankful to you all for um, contributing your unique gifts and energetic signature to this moment. I love you and I couldn't do this without you. You matter so much. I just really want you to know that you are loved. I encourage you to drink some water. Not just now, but all throughout today. Um, make sure you stay hydrated. Um, yeah. Okay, let me see the time here. 12.55, okay, so we're okay. Um, I expected that this session would go pretty long, so let's start to transition slowly and gently into an 
honest sharing of our heart work with one another. Um, I have three beautiful Awakened Creators who will be joining me live and another who's made a contribution um, that I will uh, read. And I would also like to share one of my own. <laughs> mm, Dream State, this was one of our most powerful meditations yet. I had intended on working on projects while listening today, but I felt the call to stop and be Wow, so much magic. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. I I felt it too. I felt it too and so much support from our galactic family and that um So, um, without going into too much detail or getting too heavy, I want to share the piece behind me that I've been working on the last few days or so. Um, it's actually painted on a piece of cardboard that I took from a TV box. <laughs> My dad bought a TV and I was like, ooh, cardboard, I can paint on that. Give me that. Um, and so in addition to just the horrific global events that have been taking place, not just now, but for so long, right? We've all been through so much since we've been born so many wars, so much injustice, so much pain. And sometimes that's reflected in our personal lives as well. And so one of the greatest gifts I feel like our creative expression gives us is an opportunity to express how we feel. And it's came, this message came through really strongly when I channel, channeled Dolores Aroidian from the Cranberries, um, which is still probably one of my favorite channeled sessions that I did. And I would encourage you all to watch it if you haven't. And she talked about letting out that emotional energy through your creative expression and that As we do that, we not only allow ourselves to transmute that energy into something greater, but it gives others the opportunity to reflect on and see themselves in that same transformative experience, be it sadness or rage or any range of emotions, even positive ones, right? Or we're feeling very elated. We can temper that through our creative expression. Um, and so this piece that's behind me really came through as an outpouring of all the things I've been feeling and experiencing since this eclipse. And at a certain point, I just slathered paint on the canvas with my hands and I didn't really know what I was doing other than letting it out uh, with tears and rage and, and movement, right? And after I had this experience, I got a chance to step back and see that 
It looked like a heart. <laughs> it looked like an anatomical heart. And I had no intention of doing so, but I felt like exactly what I was trying to express, heartbreak and heartache and the swirling of emotions. And as I continued working on the piece, these lines started to form on the heart. And I chose to, and felt called to lay them with gold. And in a symbolic, representation of kintsugi, which is a Japanese art form of restoring broken pottery traditionally um, with golden inlay that will join the pieces back together so that you have something even more beautiful than you started with, right? So taking what's broken, that broken heart, and piecing it back together and creating something new. And so I felt like for me, this was the perfect contribution to today's call for peace in that so many of us may feel our hearts are breaking about what's happening on this planet what we what humanity is doing to one another and remembering though that in that brokenness we can as awakened creators choose to put things back together choose to anchor that gold into the cracks and reunite each other and ourselves with that golden light of love. So I hope that my contribution inspires you to restore what might be broken with love and to remember that No matter what, always you come through. No matter how broken you feel or have felt in the past, right? You've always come out, you've always come through. So, to shall humanity come through we shall prevail, love shall prevail. I believe that absolutely. Um, and that it's just a matter of time and it's, it's important for us to just continue to anchor and live in that peace and that love on a daily basis um, and cast our vote every day, every hour, <laughs> right? Um, and watch it manifest. So I would like to call now, I would like to call Gabrielle. We have the beautiful um, Gabrielle, I don't know exactly how to pronounce your last name, love. Desmaris, that's what I'm going to try. <laughs> but Gabrielle underscore artist, is an absolutely incredible creator and healer and angelic channel, um, currently lives in South Africa. So it's so amazing to me that we have people from all over the planet today. So really, truly, we did indeed create a net for Mother Gaia to rest in. Well, first of all, guys, I've had a candle lit for all of us and for you. And I have to say, this is much less intimidating than more people. So um, I actually appreciate everyone who's here now. Let me just put the candle on the table though. I've got some wax going. Um, and I've also got my 
Gran here. So we bought her a photo. And we've got my dad's meditation balls, which was going during the meditation. So we've got those with us as well. Um, so guys, I'm uh, first of all, I'm really thankful to be here. So thank you, Amanda. And thank you, Awaken Creators. Um, I really appreciate it very, very much. And it's such an honor. Um, I also just want to say thank you to anyone else who sees this and hello, and I hope that you enjoy our sharing and our love. Um, I'm wearing red today because I started Amanda's uh, chakra, lower chakra journey, and I am on the root chakra. So that's why I'm wearing red for love. So what I'm going to introduce to you guys is a collaboration um, that I have just completed um, with a lovely person. I'm not an awakened creator, but someone with a really big heart. And Amanda, you mentioned common ground, and I just found this um, extraordinary to connect with people, even if there is a slight difference in beliefs or you just are able to see their heart and their love. And I've had that experience during a collaboration during this time in the world. So I have a recording from her. She lives in Laguna Beach in California. So hi, everyone in America. <laughs> and first of all, uh, this is the artwork. Okay, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Here you go. Um, so this artwork started a little bit differently. Um, it was a few days before the, um, the war and the fighting um, between um, Israel and Palestine and Israel originally and yeah and it was a bit scary and um I didn't know why I was drawing dark something dark because I always draw light and love and then a few days later we found out the terrible things that have started happening um and I reached out and some of you well, all of you reached back and it was very beautiful and um CJ part of the collaboration who did some beautiful poetry um, she was one of them as well. And through a collaboration with her, um, the darkness uh, became a lot more nurturing, a lot more nurturing. Um, we have the flowers that appeared. We have the pink lips that she suggested. We have a little gash on her cheek to represent the pain and suffering that's happening. And we just connected on an empathic level, um, just like with all of you. And I'm going to play her poem for you, which is quite extraordinary how she read it. Um, and I wanted to ask her to read it because it's her, they're her words. So I'm going to play that for you. And I really hope that you guys can hear. And if you can't, please let me know and I can make it louder. I can adjust the best I can. Um, so I'm going to play that for you. And it's quite emotional how she reads. Um, she's also a performance artist. Um, so um, we're going to play that right now. Skies crimson, bloody Mary, crying black tears. Waters are muddy, seated with animosity and fears. Ancient line of friction drawn in holy, sparkling sand. Everyone takes sides, no longer help each other stand. Prophesied casualties, in victorious, eternally grand. Sick. Mediator of peace, binding wounds, embracing without bickering. Mother's arms welcome all the weary souls is mine. Reflection of a savior, loving without boundaries defined. Hold against her breast, orphans struggling for breath. Bury others dead, asserts nurturing never rest. Along the beaten, wisdom always walks humbly, lays down really harsh weapons of pride, abandons actions 
that are proved ugly takes a woman's strength to look beyond the surface at the depth of human pain rather than what hurts us. A posture uniting every divide that claw Cry with one speaking full. Quench fire before it starts. Everyone is breaking and the pieces viciously shout. Everyone is shaking. Leaves no doubt. There must be a better way to sort disagreements out, carry one another, boldly continue to fearlessly shine. Feminine flowers still take bullets. Innocent life. Call off risky bets and with inclusion, bury the knife. Oh, wounded fancy words can never begin to convey the way our compassion bleeds and sorrow at the trap. held close to our chests. Chorus sings a love you for mid tranquil night. Journey isn't over. His king better allegory. Darkness can't override for Christ's glory. She links arms with yours. Continue write your story. Um, were you able to hear? You could hear. Okay. It was. Uh, um, show you guys the image again. And then I'll just read um, a disclaimer and um, what we had, um, the common ground that we found. So I'm just gonna show you the image again after the poem. Okay, I'm going to read just a little bit and then I'm going to touch on a couple of visions that I've had um, that actually um, coincided a little bit with the beginning of the meditation as well. Um, right, so let me get my glasses, which are here, and I'm um, going to read just a couple of things. Um, so just an important message that we want or wanted to share. Um, so Gabby and sensitive and emotional situation with many opinions on both sides. While we humbly admit we don't know every detail of the history or depth of the conflict, our goal in presenting this fusion art isn't to take sides. Rather, we're here to comment on the need for peace and love to be valued and as an expression validating the pain, suffering, and torment so many innocent lives are experiencing right now. We're here to stand as a bridge, not a wall, and sincerely appreciate each of you, valuing your individual circumstances and connections to the terrible circumstances. With much love and respect always, Gabby and CJ. There is one more thing she wrote, um, her and myself, um, they felt responsibility to lead with light and love, something they both purpose to do with intentional hearts. So I wanted to um, share that with you as well um, between us. Um, there are a couple of things, Amanda, that you touched with your um, some of your imagery in the beginning, your visuals, and this these are my notes. <laughs> I don't write notes, I draw notes. <laughs> So I have a couple of things. Um, so right in the beginning, you, you just have these dots. 
and um, I think you mentioned energy anchors, which is a little bit going to say, but it kind of it goes into each other a little bit. Um, so one of the things, one of the visions I've had for quite a while is the um, little lights. And when we connect to love, to hope, um, especially to each other, um, it's almost like our beings fill my vision, um, a vision, universe maybe, is that with this light and love, only little bulbs or little stars, this light goes off. And at our highest states of love, it's like the light goes off here, then with someone else, light, 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 light. And it is possible from what you were saying, lights go off so many times and often when they're love connecting us that eventually it's like stars all over the world on earth just lighting up with love. And that was one of my visions also talking about the discs. Um, just those lights going on, 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 like candles and stars. So that's just um, in honor of that thought. Um, the other one, where um, we come from, connected, warm, safe. Um, Alan wrote it, but we talked about an incubator. Uh, Alan's my partner, we worked together as well an incubator of love, this protection of love. And it feels like where we come from, but it also feels like where we are now um, in Awakening Creators um, and this warmth and this love that radiates. Um, I'm so grateful for my soul family. I am so, so grateful. Um, you guys have changed a lot. Uh, I must say this chakra journey is um, quite extraordinary um, and the creative flow. So thank you very much for that. It's helping me to have these um, warm visions as well. Another vision a long, a long time ago, very long time ago, and I still love it. You mentioned a web. So just here, we have a little web here. And um, so at the center of the web is love. And then the web is all these different beliefs and religions of the world. And, and um, I think it's just a very beautiful idea that in the center of everything, we meet. And this to me is, it's very simple, very, very simple. Oh my gosh. And where this go? place where are you guys? Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi, Jesse. <laughs> hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No? Yes? I can't hear hi, you. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Can you show me? Oh, hi. Oh, so nice to see your face. <laughs> um, Should I just continue? Because I'm nearly... I'll wrap it up soon. Is, yeah. is that okay? Go ahead, Gabby. Um, finish your yeah. finish your point. Um, and then um, yeah, go ahead and finish and we'll move on to you definitely have the floor still. Okay, all right. So I'll I'll move on to the next one. Um the other just vision I had, which I, I love, I've expanded it through awakening creators, is getting bigger and bigger. And it's basically how, again, this portal is here. And we're here with our different beliefs, like in these groups as it is. But we have these connectors between us, these connections like this. And we're all connected to the center. And the center is like love and spinning around and around. So if you can imagine, it's tiny little bottom. That is our center of love. And the disc also is interesting because the portal goes round and round and round. And one of my biggest purposes um, in life is to help to bridge the gap between religions and beliefs and to show like awakening creators that love is here and love is central. 
and just that feeling is it's just so beautiful and so important to know that we have that common ground together and that when we all ask for peace and when we all fill with love it's something so far beyond the differences and I that's all I wanted to say um about um about that and once again just to say thank you to all you guys and to Amanda to you um you know I used to go to more therapy and I found this heart um, channeling and these beautiful lives really life-changing with all of you so thank you for that. and we do pray for peace and I will be uh, quick here but I just want to thank the angels for being with us my dad was definitely here my grand was here and um, I felt that very strongly and they are with us your own angels are with us and the people who have passed um, I feel their love as well and um, just want to honor that and say thank you very much guys for having me. Hi, I'm Jessie, itty bitty kitty pitty. And um, this this might be a slightly disjointed. We all had the crazy tech thing happen and I've switched locations because um, normally I do Instagram on my iPad, but the I don't have Zoom set up on the iPad. I tried, but it was saying there was no audio. So uh, I quickly took everything into a different location and uh, feel a little um, like we're just gonna get it together. Um, yesterday, I was kind of just vibing with you guys all day. I, I was really lucky to have the day off. Um, I didn't have anything prepared for that for this before that, but I just kept like having all of you in my heart so much all day, like the whole world, but all of you specifically, those of us that come together and are awakened creators together and support each other and a lot of the stuff that you were saying Amanda was completely vibing with what I was picking up and connecting with yesterday um as I was you know connecting with this call for peace and all of us and I really like was connecting through that the goal that you were talking about um one thing this is just something I wrote down on black paper we've been working a lot on black paper um lately and I somewhat feel like it's like symbolizing like the darkness that we're all in but when we bring these lights it's so bright within that darkness so I have some pieces that we've been working on um on the black paper but also yesterday I just wrote this down in thinking of all of you it's probably coming through backwards though which is basically let's let's be bright spots in the darkness for each other um which is what I feel like we're all kind of vibing on and and believing um and then as i went around just very much you know thinking of the gratitude there's a piece that i that i have um filmed myself while i was making it and i had the reel like mostly ready to go and it felt like it just maybe wasn't done yet or the timing wasn't done yet um, so I brought in this one, it, the reel already, um, at the end says, you know, follow Amanda, awaken creators, but it's just basically a piece about gratitude and thank you. Um, I kind of was liking a lot of having a lot come through and go through yesterday. So I just jotted down the different things as they were coming. Um, uh, another one of them. I'm kind of all over the place so I'm moving from the other room but uh a quote by Rumi that someone else shared but it just um it so much resonated with all of us was the quote if everything around you seems dark look again you may be the light and sorry my pup <laughs> and uh I just kept thinking about like our connectedness even like with quantum theories, like entanglement, like everybody we've ever been connected to, we're always connected to. And like in that way, we're all connected to each other. And each thing we do, even each vibration we have and thought we have is connecting everybody else. And I feel like we're at the, we can change so much by just like recognizing our ability to do so. Um, I was thinking back at this moment, I just, I drew a little picture, but basically just to remind myself, um, it's just a little, this time, this moment in my life when I was going somewhere and it was on a two lane highway and a mountain road. So there's only one lane going in and one lane going out. 
and deep into the mountains, something happened that shut down the whole road. Everybody was waiting to decide whether they go forward or whether they turn around and go another way. And I remember the tension building in that moment. And this is just such a small thing, but to me, it's like symbolic of a lot. Like there was a moment when I realized like, okay, uh, that's it. I think the right thing for me to do is just turn around and go the other way. And exactly as I started to do it, a just ripple effect happened and everybody started to like have, they were all sort of building that same anticipation and everybody turned around so much at once that I wasn't in front because people were just turning around constantly. And so we ended up behind a lot of people because we all had this impulse at the same moment or it felt to me like as soon as I started, everybody started. And I feel like that's just like kind of symbolic of where we are that like, sometimes we're not sure, like, should I go forward? Should I step forward? And that was sort of how I was for this Zoom today because I thought I don't have anything like super ready or prepared exactly on this topic, but I think maybe step forward anyway and just like see what happens and like let's support each other and be there for each other. And it'll be okay if it's not perfect, you know, it's definitely um, having me put my money where my mouth is because I always say it doesn't have to be perfect, but then I think, oh gosh, like I may be really like not having my, my stuff together and it might not be perfect, but my girl is here for it. Um, another one, like something I had a piece already in process, but I wrote the words yesterday um, with all the like pain that we're all feeling. Um, this one just basically says, Cry your eyes out until your only your soul can see. So that was another one that I just like. I already had the painting in progress. It's a two sided kind of just painted on some wood, um, but the words came through for all of us because I know we're all feeling a lot of pain right now, and it's really brave. <laughs> but it's really brave to feel our pain and to feel our feelings. Um, that's a super brave thing to do because. It's really, it's really um, easy to numb out instead. It's really easy to disconnect instead. Um, so another piece that I just had sitting around in progress, but yesterday when I kept filling the words, heal ourselves and heal the collective. So I just wrote the words on a piece that I had already going. Um, it's definitely still a work in progress. Nothing like so amazing or magnificent at this point, but um, ironically, I was very drawn to gold yesterday also. And like, I ended up like highlighting the whole thing in gold. And so when you kept talking about that, I was like, wow, that just like, I just felt that strongly. And then one piece, as I kept like thinking of all of you yesterday and Amanda talking about us being the real life care bears resonates with me so much. And I just love it. And it's beautiful. And so I just barely have the beginning of a piece I started to work on specifically for all of you and with that in mind. And so it's just an utter beginning, like didn't exist before yesterday, but it's just a Care Bear. <laughs> I don't know which one I've been trying to figure out. Is this a new Care Bear? Is this the Awakened Creator Care Bear? Um, you know, so, so that's all. Uh, still up in the air and possible, but I have a book that's up there in the corner that says magic in our hand. And when I saw the word magic, I was really called to, uh, you know, be inspired by these words. This is the actual book here. I loved the, even the type of the printing. So I just kind of like had that in mind when I wrote the magical on here. And that's just basically, Kind of what I have going on with everything but a big thing that kept coming through for me was just the gratitude and the call to collaborate I don't know what it all looks like I don't know how it all goes but I'm really excited and I'm very open to collaborating with you as well as supporting all the pieces that all of you wake and creators create um, I've had some experiences in my past life where I have been able to uh, creatively collaborate on theater projects and they're my very favorite it's the very best like what we can bring together you know we're going to each have ideas and creativity that the other one doesn't have and we're going to come with perspectives that the other one doesn't have so 
I just wanted to put that out there that I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm so excited to be here and I'm very open. If someone has creative ideas, um, if they're looking for something, I'm ready to support it. If someone wants people to write different pieces and they're gonna bring it together, I'm ready to write something or show up in, in whichever way I can. So I love you all. I think that's mostly what I have today.
I wanted to come on just to offer closing to this experience since you know we kind of got cut off of the original live. Um, so first and foremost, I just want to thank you all for contributing your energy today, your creations today, um, those of you who wanted to share, and those of you who were participating in the meditation, you helped more than you realize. I think that as time goes on, more and more we'll start to truly understand the impact that our conscious awareness has on the trajectory of things um, and when we come together and we pause in the name of love and in the name of peace we really do send out ripples of that across the planet so i want you to know that your work today has not gone unnoticed um, and is absolutely making a difference. The last thing that I wanted to share was a poem provided by one of our beautiful Awakened Creators. And this is how we're gonna close out today. Um, this poem was written by Amy Frank at Wings of Jewels. Um, this individual is a beloved awakened creator who's been around for quite some time and is very active in our community so thank you to amy for providing these beautiful words for us to close out um, our call for peace today come near me little child you are safe here in my arms. You are my own, my beating heart. You are my every star. And I will be your oasis. And I will be your hope. I will be your oasis. I will be your home. To Amy Frank, thank you so much for your beautiful contribution to this call for peace. And thank each and every one of you once again for your contributions to this call for peace. I love you. I believe in you. Thank you for being devoted to your art, to your heart, to you. I love you very, very much. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Much love.